Hi guys, this is Mike Moo from Mike Moo Online, Mike Moo Gadget Review, and also Mike Moo Photography Review. So I was looking for a new kind of messenger style bag, and I came across this fantastic deal which I listed on my site, mikemooonline.com forward slash hot deals. And you can get this bag for $30 through my link right now, and it is $30 including shipping from Adorama. It is the built built by New York, I believe, cargo camera bag, and it is the large version. This will normally run you about uh, $100 or so, um, roughly, when it's not on sale, and, and, and only the blue version's on sale. So if you want to get the black version, that's on sale for $60, but the blue version for $30 is a fantastic deal. I saw a couple of videos on this online, but none of it really got into the meat of the matter in terms of how, how it is and, and um, how it is in real life, and except for maybe this one video, but even then I wanted to get a closer view of the inside. So here it is, there's the inside. As you can see, there's there's a bunch of these dividers here. These dividers are actually very thin, but I think will do a sufficient job. The whole idea with this is that it is actually very soft and very comfortable uh, to carry along against your body, which I find not to be the case with a lot of other shoulder type bags and a lot of messenger bags. And that's because it's got this really soft material, kind of similar to the neoprene, but not exactly. It's got it's got a neoprene soft feel, but at the same time, it's got this uh, abrasive protective type texture on top. So I think it'll last pretty well, especially given the only the $30 price tag. Okay, a little bit more on durability later after I actually get a chance to really use this bag extensively. Now, I at first, I was not really interested in built New York bags because when I thought about it and I saw their bags, I was thinking, well, this is more like, um, you know, it's, it's not for a serious photographer. But if you look at the bag, it actually doesn't look like it's, a, it's for a serious photographer, which is why I think it, it might make sense for a lot of street shooters or people who are traveling to consider because it doesn't, ex it does, doesn't scream, steal me, steal me, steal me, because it just looks like a regular messenger bag. Inside, it's got this nice, really bright color. Again, this is the blue and orange combination. So it's really easy to find anything that you might have lost down at the bottom. I don't know about you guys, but I lose um, uh, uh, camera filters and, and camera lens caps and stuff inside all the time. This will make it really easy to go ahead and find. There are actually six pockets throughout the exterior of the bag, like the interior, ex exterior of the bag. So there's a little one right there, another one in the middle, and then another one over to the side. So that's six pockets already starting out with a bag. And then they give you a series of dividers. These dividers work in a particular peculiar way. So unlike anything I've seen before, um, I think it'll do a decent job, but that still does remain to be seen when I actually use it. It allows you to configure the bag at pretty much any way you want. So you can actually carry books, a laptop, I think um, a 15 inch, no, actually a 13 inch would easily fit. I'm not sure about a 15 inch yet. And then you can then go ahead and configure the dividers as you like. And these are just held via Velcro. Again, this is the similar soft material. I do find that the rest of the bag is made of, um, but really thin and fairly lightweight. So I think I think it's a it's a good choice. Um, it might not seem that way at first, but um, after seeing some photographers, some professional photographers use a similar bag like this, but it wasn't designed specifically for photography um, out in professional shooting. I thought I you know be worthwhile to give it a shot. So again, this is just a really nice, quick first look. I have have experience with bags of this type and very similar to it, but I don't use it to carry camera equipment. I use it to carry my laptop, books, etc. And surprisingly, I found it to be extremely comfortable and something that I prefer to carry because it also crushes down very easily due to the way it's designed. It's very comfortable. Okay, so what's not so comfortable and great about this bag that you should know about? One thing is the strap. Okay, the strap does not have that much cushioning on here. This is actually very fairly minimal amount of cushioning. So it's definitely not going to be enough for me personally. So I'd recommend that you go ahead and replace it with uh, something else. Uh, maybe a Timbuktu one, for instance. Or if you can try to get one from Think Tank Photo, get a, get a separate strap. I think that would work out very well. Um, another thing that I was a little bit concerned about was that the fact that these buckles are made of some sort of plastic. This is actually very high quality ABS type plastic. Let's see, very clearly it says RHPM TF2 plastic, but it does feel very sturdy. I, I don't think that at first when I was looking at it, I was concerned about it, but I tried to twist it, bend it, you know, and break it. 
and I think it has decent tensile strength to go ahead and carry RE gear. But another thing is that the benefit of these plastic straps is that there's very less likely chance that you'll scratch up anything inside the bag as a result of handling any of your camera equipment. So it turns out it's not such a bad idea after all to have this, but if you were to get and replace this shoulder strap, and I probably will with maybe a Timbuktu or a Think Tank photo strap, which is actually very beefy, then I would go ahead and somehow rubberize or coat this, coat up the metal parts of it, just in case, okay? All right, so replace the strap. Um, as far as organization wise, again, it's just the six pockets here on the outside and then however you set up your configuration on the inside. So a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have a total of 13 pockets set up the way I have it right now. But you can configure these any which way you want. One thing I notice is that there's really, it's not going to be very rigid because it's very, really soft. And I think that's really its strength of it. So if you need something that's really rigid that you can just throw around and have more protection, this isn't it. But if you're looking for a nice little travel bag that, that doesn't look like a photography bag but can easily carry your gear, this is definitely something to consider, particularly at the $30 price tag right now. Make sure you go check it out in my hot deal section or click down the link below. And visit my other um, camera photography bags because I do try a lot of different bags and I do post a review about them and I do update them with long-term reviews and, and um, certain other information that I have throughout the course of using uh, the different bags. All right, this is, again, this is Mike Moo from Mike Moo Online, Mike Moo Gadget Review, your source for all sorts of good tech geek photography stuff and hot deals. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.